guess what? Affordable EVs are coming to America. Things like the Hummer SUV that you see here, or the new Ford Lightning, or the Chevy Silverado SUV, or perhaps you might even be thinking about a Rivian. Let's talk about one of the headlines that's made its way relative to EVs recently and their risk for fire. And is that something that you should really be concerned about, especially in light of some of the news of what went on with the Chevy Bolt that got a mass recall for its fire risk? Earlier this year, Auto Insurance EZ released its findings on fires in electric vehicles for 2021. And as it turns out, the number is surprisingly low when you consider the media coverage that Tesla fires get. And as it turns out, there are only approximately 25 fires per every 100,000 vehicles sold. It's not the frequency of EV fires that's concerning, it's the difficulty in putting them out. Tesla, in their first responders guide, recommends 3,000 to 8,000 gallons of water on hand to go ahead and put your vehicle out in case of a fire. So I guess you can go ahead and for 27.9 purchase this international water truck so it can follow behind you while you're going green. Reportedly, it took 30,000 gallons to put out one electric vehicle on fire one time. Now that's about 10,000 more than I have in my pool here, which means I could have driven that vehicle into my pool and still been 10,000 gallons shy of what I needed to put it out. And if my pool happened to be salt water, which it isn't, that may not even have worked because if you remember 16. back Hurricane Sandy, came through and 16 Fiskers got set on fire. And the reason those EVs got set on fire theory was because, well, salt water. One of the vehicles got contaminated. The salt water caused what we call thermal runaway. The thermal runaway ignited the vehicle, which then ignited the 15 adjacent vehicles. And all of those Fiskers were lost to essentially what was thermal runaway. While the exploitative nature of EV fire coverage by the media doesn't surprise me, what does surprise me is some of the other reporting from auto insurance EV that we see here. If we look at it, gas vehicles had an average of 1,529 vehicle fires per 100,000 sold. That's crazy to me. That seems excessively high. And of course, most of these are caused by accidents and internal combustion engines catching fire due to fuel line leaks, etc. But what's shocking when we look at it is that hybrid vehicles are more than double that. Hybrid vehicles are approaching nearly 3,500 vehicle fires per 100,000 sold. Of course, a lot of people won't find it surprising that when you combine a internal combustion engine with the complexity of a hybrid battery capable of thermal runaway that you may have an increased risk of actually having fires. What is surprising is the rate at which they occur, both for internal combustion vehicles by themselves at 1500 per 100,000 sold, but especially at that rate of 3500 vehicles per 100,000 sold for hybrid vehicles. So when you buy that new Toyota Tundra TRD Pro Solar Octane with the hybrid battery with all that horsepower and torque, remember, it's accidents that cause most vehicle fires. So slow down just a little bit, lay off the gas pedal, or you might run the risk of turning your new Solar Octane into a solar flare.